do 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 Hello, my friends. Welcome back. My name is Megan, and this is Stories and Stitches. And it has taken me way too many tries to just say hello. So, you know, I don't know. You might see some outtakes there because that was a challenge. Hello is a challenge. And I've even like been speaking with other humans already today. So I don't even have that as that is an excuse. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. It is for me, it is April the 6th. I hope that you are doing well on whatever day you are watching this. Um, and I just look forward to spending some time chatting about our stitching. So uh, I have, I had planned on filming last week. It was Easter. It was busy. It didn't work out. I hadn't, lots of reasons. I also hadn't been stitching a lot. So we are here today. It is the beginning of April floss tube and let's just get to it. So plan for today, I'm going to chat about my stitching. I've got some other crafts to show you. Um, you can kind of see some sneaky little, sneaky little faces over behind me. And then we'll, we will do a little bit of a, of a story section. As always, feel free to peruse at your leisure, watch where you want to watch, skip over what you don't. Um, if you want to drop out at any point, that is, that is completely and totally fine. So uh, thank you for joining me. And I, I am very happy to spend the time together that we have. So I have done seven cross stitch projects the last three weeks, I think, since we spoke last, um, one of which I can't show you, but it's finished. So I have a sneaky secret, can't show you finish. I have finished the stitching on my Smalls Exchange for Stitch North, um, which I'm not going to show you. I like to keep it a secret. So stitching is finished. It's not fully finished yet. I'm hoping that that will get done this weekend. I mean, if not, it, it, I have I have basically three weekends left in which to finish it before it definitely has to be done and ready to go. So I'm kind of hoping for this weekend, um, but we'll see how that goes. So that one's done. I don't even know how many stitches I stitched into it because I didn't put it in my app and I think I've already unsaved um, the prompts that I would have put it under. So good job me. Um, I've also just, <laughs> never mind, it, neither here nor there. So good job me on that one. Second up, a project I can actually show you that will maybe get me back on track. Uh, I Look, I'm pointing, like here's where it was the last time you saw it. Have I told you what project it is? No, 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 I certainly haven't. So the first project I worked on after I worked on the secret project is Winter Bell. Um, and this is by Tilton Crafts. Um, I will show you here is a picture of what it will look like when it's finished. I think sometimes I have it on paper, but I don't have it with me right now. That's what it will look like. And here is where it was the last time that you saw it. And this uh, is what it looks like now. Um, I don't actually remember what I've worked on. It had to have been over in because I worked on this right after my last video and haven't really worked on it since. But it would have been over in this section that I've been working on. I've been working my way uh, down on this side. So you can start to see a silhouette going on on there. Um, and I am hoping this month to finish the rest of this color. So I don't remember how much is left of it, but I would like to finish the rest of that color. And I am doing this one, um, one over one full cross on 25 count, I believe it is. Um, and I did 269 stitches on that one. So probably why I can't really tell where I worked on it because I didn't do a whole lot on it. All right, next up, we have Beloved by... one normally falls right off my tongue. Adele Sessler, uh, Chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and this one is out of the Q-Snap right now. I can't remember um, the last time we spoke. I don't remember if I had worked on this and if I mentioned sort of what my plan was. 
Um, but I have been working on a lot of black. So anyways, here's where it will look like when it is finished. Um, and I always forget to mention, I'm doing Beloved Flipped. So it is the flipped version. What it will look like when it is done. Here is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here is where it is now. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember I, if last time I was working on sort of this hair over here because I kind of got a little bored of just going straight down. Not necessarily bored, like it's all black, but I wanted it to start having a little bit more definition so that I could kind of see that I was working on something as opposed to just this like black blob of nothingness. Um, so I worked on the hair and I worked to get myself over to here, which I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is going to be an eye. So that is my, my man's eye. Um, and is it a bit strange that I'll have him like staring at me one eyed while I'm working? Maybe, but it also, I mean, in theory makes it start to look like something. I don't know. This is a story I'm telling myself. That is. So the eye's not quite done, but um, almost done. So that's what I have worked on. And I did 546 stitches on that one. And that one is being done one over one full cross on 28 count, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, next up was my spooky stitching. I worked on this, I think I worked on this twice since you saw it last. Um, <clears throat> and let me just, sorry, got to put the needle minders back on the pro projects they live on. Okay, I worked on this one I think twice since you saw it last. Uh, and this is Tonight We Ride by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And um, I am doing it on the called for color, which is Pumpkin Patch by Be Stitch Me. I believe I'm doing mine on, I think it might be 16 count. I'm not entirely sure. It came with the, um, their Halloween box, not this past year, the year before. So 2022. Here is where it was the last time that you saw it. I think you'll see it in the Q-snap. Um, I haven't moved the Q-snap since, but here is where it is now. So I've gotten actually quite a lot done. Um, I think I had houses mostly done the last time you saw it. I filled in this part down in here. Um, I filled in the lights on the houses. And I did this whole tree, this whole owl tree. It's got some owls, got some bats, and all the backstitch in there. So the tree is done. The houses are done. All of the black over this way is done. Um, I still need to do some bats in here. So, oh, yeah, that's that'll work. Okay. Is this, is this working? Yeah, this is kind of working. Okay. So I still have to do, as far as black goes, I've got some bats in here that need to get done before I move, move on from there. And then um, I have to finish up some of the gray in here and then these light brown houses in behind all need to get done. So those will be what I work on next. I'm hoping that perhaps this month I might be able to finish sort of this whole, the rest of this sort of quarter that I'm working on down here. So, or not on here, over there. So I'd like to finish those light brown houses and the bats that I can do. Um, and then next up, we'll be moving on to the witches. That is where I'm at that. And how many, what did I do here? I did 790 stitches on that one uh, the last couple weeks. So I'm really happy with how that one is coming along. I just, I really love seeing it come together. Those owls are my favorite. All right. That was Beloved. No, no, that was not Beloved. That was Tonight We Ride. Next up, I worked on Astrology Cat, Astrology Cat 2024 Sal. Um, so this is the Sal version from Heaven and Earth Designs. And <clears throat> I am, so it's a portion 
of the fold chart. The sale is is closed, so you can no longer sign up. Um, and I am very, very, very behind. So the the first part came out in January, and it was the first three pages. The second part has just come out, and it's the next three pages. And then um, there's, I think, in the fall, there's the rest of it comes out, which is a lot of half pages and whatnot. But I'm not even done the first part. I'm not even partially like I'm I'm very behind but that's okay it's coming along I have more done than last time I am doing this two over one tent stitch on 25 count on 25 count to me so oh this is what it will look like when it is finished here is where it was the last time that you saw it and here's where it is now so I have done, so last video I showed you, I believe I had done all of this in here or most of it anyways. And then when I worked on it the last time, I wanted to kind of get a lot of progress quickly and also not have to concentrate too much on confetti. So I worked on this big black, <laughs> black section here which is not quite done. I think I still have a little bit left of that black section still to go, um, but I'm really happy with that. I did 1,077 half stitches on that one uh, since the last time you saw me. And as I said, it is nowhere near finished or like that section. So I really, I gotta get a move on on that one, which it's funny because I don't even know that it's really on my April plans list, um, but it should be, but it's okay. We're not, we're not going to should over here right now. If it gets done, it gets done, right? So uh, next up is Christmas stitching, which when I worked on it last month, I counted it for myself as both Christmas stitching and spooky stitching. So it's my spooky Christmas. It's not really that spooky, but kind of. So what are we talking about? We are talking about Twas the Night by Sue Hillis Designs. So it's the Twas the Night Before Christmas poem. And as you know, I have been working on the words um, on this one. Um, and if you've been around for a bit, you also know that I am not doing this one on the called for fabric. So yes, so this is what it kind of, what they've put it on called for fabric was what? something linen, light khaki, or no, yeah, light khaki, I think, is what they've done it on. <clears throat> I am doing it on Haunted Moon by Fa, by Fabric Flare, Haunted Moon. I think I'd never filmed a video before, my goodness. Here's where it was the last time that you saw it. And here is where it is now. Here's where it is now. Um, I have finished all of the word Christmas. So I think the last time you saw it, I had like a small piece of an H, which actually looked like an R, but it was a piece of an H done. I have now finished the word Christmas. So I just have to do the Twas the Night, which is in backstitch, and then I'm on to border. And the border, I believe I've mentioned before, but it might have actually been a while. The border in here is very gold, um, which doesn't really fit the vibe that I was going for with it. So mine is going to be black and gray. Um, I, I think, I don't even know if I've picked the gray. I, I did have the gray picked at one point in time. I don't have anything written down. I had the gray picked at, at one point, um, but did I write it down? Unknown. It'll be black and gray. The intent is for it to be a little bit more black silver um, than gold. And I think that'll still look really good with the, the green and the red and the ivy to really pop it. So I'm excited about that. I'm actually excited to get into the border and see it come together the rest of the way. I did about 534 stitches on that one. I don't remember if I fully counted everything or not, but 534 stitches on that one. Which brings me 
to my last project that I've stitched on. So I had done a total of, I think I had said seven projects this time around. Um, and this one here, I'm not taking out of the Q-snap. Um, I do have a picture of where it was sort of this section the last time you saw it. So, um, but yeah, it, I'm not gonna take it out of the, the Q-snap this time. If you wanna see where it is, fully so far feel free you can check back in on one of my previous videos I don't remember if I showed the whole thing in the last video but I think I did the time before that um so you can check back in on that one and um if you don't want to do that then I'm pretty sure if all goes as planned the next time we talk it will be out of the Q snap um because I want to show you I uh well let's let's show the the project and then then I'll talk about my plan for it in a second. So this is what I'm talking about is Gamer Nouveau by Medusa Dollmaker, um, charted by Gecko Rouge Design. So it's a, quick, a kit by Gecko Rouge. And I am doing it two, no, one over one full cross on 28 count. And here is where it was the last time you saw it, just for this section. So <clears throat> back up. If you're looking at the picture, I am currently on the the far side of her hair. So like the towards the Mario side. Um, so that that's where we are for context. This is where it was the last time you saw it. And here is where it is now. So this is her her hair coming in down in here. We have a little, I think Mega Man in here somewhere. Uh, and this down here is not quite to the bottom because there's another section, but it's, so that is, that's where we're at. Um, I got quite a bit done and this was all in the last couple days. So, or this week anyway. So I have done 1,279 stitches since you saw it last. I am, I think at six, almost 6.25% or just over 6.25%. And I currently have less than a thousand stitches of black left. So I am, my plan is to have that black finished this month. Uh, I don't know that I'll get it down to a zero because there are a couple places where there's like one or two ninja stitches out in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, and on my winter jack, I have done that because I'm working from smallest number of stitches to largest and I'm zeroing them out as of right now. This one here, I am trying to finish all the black, but I'm not necessarily focused on getting it to zero. So we'll see. I, I can't decide if I want to count my way over to do those weird random ninja stitches or just let them happen once they happen. If I decide to let them happen once they'll happen, I'll probably have like... 10 to 20 stitches left in black when I finish but so it, it'll all depend once I get done the majority of the black it will all depend how motivated mo how motivated I am at that moment to zero out the black uh, but I think I have I want to say 800 and something left of black um, right now to finish up so I'm hoping that that will be done I may just keep working on this until it is done. So I really, really actually hope it's done today or tomorrow, honestly. If we are being fully honest, I would like the black done on that today or tomorrow. So that's a plan. Um, but yeah, that is all of my stitching that I have done so far. Um, not, I was going to say so far this month, but that's since the last time we spoke. And the last time we spoke, I think, was March 16th, give or take. So... In the last three weeks, that is what I have finished and done on stitching. And I kind of, I think part of the reason I feel all over the place is like, like seven projects, but it still doesn't feel like I have done a ton, even though I know I have. And I know that I've been a little more focused on some of my like crochet projects a little bit. So my focus has been very split the last three weeks as far as crafting and other hobbies goes. But I'm happy with what I've got done. I'm happy that um, I was able to get any stitching in, right? Because sometimes we just, life happens and it doesn't get done. So that is, that's where we're at. 
Uh, and that is it for the stitching plans. So plans. My April plans are to... So first of all, last month, you know, I was working on March brackets with Fandom Stitching Central. I did not too bad. I actually did better than I thought I was going to. Um, and then completely fizzled out at the end with Easter and with kind of being... I lost, I didn't lose my stitchy bug for a little bit, but like was just not cross-stitching for a few days. So it all petered out and then I could have just kept picking projects to work on, but I I was over it at that point um, because it didn't feel like something was winning anymore because the last, let's say four to five days, maybe even a little bit more of that, I didn't get any of them done. So everything would have just been me picking what my favorite project was of the last ones left and I got, I got over it. I did pretty good though. I was very happy that I participated. I will probably participate again next year. I did enjoy it quite a lot. Um, but that, that's where that ended. April plans. So there's no real event for Fandom Stitching Central this month. There's like regular weeklies, regular monthlies, um, which I think my current plan based on what I'm feeling is to focus on the monthlies. They've added a new um, points amount that if you finish all of the monthlies, you get like bonus 35 points. So my current goal is to focus on the monthlies where I can, um, which will also let me add to my yearlies because I'd like to get a little bit further ahead on the yearlies. And then I will work on the weeklies when it makes sense or when it works, or when I'm working on something that definitely doesn't fit into a monthly, but I can kind of fit it into a weekly. So that is the current plan. I've also picked, I was going to pick eight projects to focus on this month, and then it turned into 10. And then I remembered I hadn't worked on, put astronomy, astronomy cat or astrology cat, whatever he's called, astrology cat, maybe hadn't put him on the list, but that he should probably be on the list. So it's 10 ish projects. <laughs> Uh, I don't even think that that my Christmas project is on here. So it's like 10 plus random other ones that I might also work on. Um, but I have The Gamer, which I'd like to finish the black. <clears throat> Winter Bell, which we talked about. Uh, I want to finish that color I'm working on. Um, Half the Fun is going to come out to start working on quarter three. I might try to even finish it like quarter three this month. Uh... I've also put Tonight We Ride. We talked about that already. And then a few that haven't been seen for a while. So I have Moonlight Sampler by... Oh, names, 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 names. The Blue Flower that I want to bring out. Uh, Berry Bakery by Stitching with the Housewives that really I want to bring out and have that. It, it has not had a lot of work done it at all yet. And I kind of think that that one, so the pedestal has a lot of white in it. There's a lot of sections that have block color. So I'm thinking on the fly, I hadn't actually thought about this until exactly this moment, but what would be nice is if I could get some outlining done. So go in and do a lot of the outline of things uh, and then have it available for me to work on at Stitch North. So black might not be the best always to work on when you're at like a stitching retreat, but if I'm just filling in sections, it could be if I've already got the outlining done. That's That tends to be how I, how I work on those ones. So I might do that. I'd also like to work on Flea Market Flowers, which is by Lori Holt. Is that by Lori Holt? It's a fat quarter shop. It's so Emma pattern. Uh, my Snow Leopard, which I actually have that one here. I have all of these here. I don't know why I didn't bring them out, but... I think I talked about my snow leopard the last time, but I don't remember what I was working on. I actually think it was the eye, the the eye in Beloved. When I was working on that, I was like, man, this makes me really want to work on my snow leopard, which I've had him on my list to pull out of timeout for ages, but haven't felt that, oh, I really, really, really want to work on him um, because when I was working on him the last time he got very wrong and the eyes were part of the reason he kept going wrong. So this is what my the snow leopard is. If you haven't seen him, it's a really old dimensions kit from the 90s, 97. He's been in timeout for over a year. Um, but uh, man, there's a lot of um buts, um buts today. He's been in timeout. When I was working on that beloved eye, I really wanted to pull him out and work on him. So 
not a piece that I can work on at Stitch North because boy, oh boy, does he require a lot of work or focus. Because <clears throat> even when I am fully focused on him, I still make counting mistakes. But he, yeah, he, he just may come out of timeout this month. We'll see. We'll check in with with uh, past Megan the end of the month to see. See if he actually came out or not. That'd be an interesting thing to look at. So he's on my list. Beach Babes, which is one of my other big heaven and earth designs. That's on my list. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I really want to focus on the monthlies. Which I could do the weeklies as well because I can do the Disney Plus option. Uh, but outside of some of these other ones, I, I'd really like to get a good chunk of work done into Beach Babes. And then Greenhouse of Oddities is the last one on my list outside of Astrology Cat. So Greenhouse of Oddities is my Lola Crow Sal, which I don't know if any of you follow uh, her on Instagram, but she has announced the, they've announced the new Sal for this year, and it is Deadly Aquarium. It was up for pre-order a couple weeks ago, maybe. I haven't pre-ordered it yet because part of me is like, no, you're not done, Greenhouse of Oddities. You can't start another Sal. But also, it it looks absolutely adorable. The stitching, so I've just pulled her up. So the stitching starts in a week, I think. So I really should um, pull it out because I think that would get me the frame is what it tends to be, um, is you get the frame in the first one. But let's see if it'll, so here... Oh no, it's the, so that was the floss toss and sort of a first sneak peek on that one. And then we've seen this like adorable little puffer fish. Oh, and the most recent one, which I actually just saw is this little squid. I know I'm getting my glare. There we go. This little squid. I am in love with the colors. I love that... I just love it. I love the colors. I love how it kind of has that, the vibe it has. And I just love their Lola Crows patterns. I loved the first one. I know Greenhouse of Oddities, I'm very behind on, but I still love it. So I'd really like to do, I'd like to do Deadly Aquarium. So I should get on that. But I'm neither here nor there. So though, <laughs> that being said, if I get on that, that would potentially be my new moon new start. Although, okay. Because what happens when we plan on the fly, apparently. Because do I have even fabric to do Lola Crow on? Who knows? My, maybe that's a me thing to look at later today when I'm editing this video. That, though, that, though, <laughs> those are all my plans for April. They're very, very fuzzy right now. As you can see, um, I had high plans to have good, good plans. I planned to have good plans and just, it, I don't know. It's been a bit of a discombobulated couple of weeks. So we are moving on to other crafts. So if, as I mentioned earlier, I have a couple little sneaky guys over here. I'm going to go pick them up and I'll be right back. I don't know what it was, but after my last video, I got on a I want to work on crochet kick. And I have had a project that has been in timeout. You saw him sitting over there, my bunny. He's been in timeout for, it has to have been at least a year. I think longer than that. He, did I show him? I don't remember if I showed him in my other crafts video. If I did, like my other crafts whip parade, I, I'll, I might try and put a picture of him, like a screen cap in it here. If I... If I had a picture of him, we'll see. We'll see how ambitious I am. But he got into timeout because what happened was, so here he is, my bunny. He's super soft, super cuddly. But what happened is, and you may be able to tell, his head is a little small, um, a little smaller than it should be. But what happened was I did him up. The pattern was pretty good. I think my tension was off and there was something else I had done wrong. But did him, sewed his head on. The pattern wasn't that clear on how to sew the head on, so I don't think I sewed it on right. 
had his nose that didn't have the pink yet and he looked like the one of the bad guys in um I can't remember his name right now but the one in the wheelchair who Sally's master in Nightmare Before Christmas that's what he looked like and I didn't love that for him so he got into timeout and he stayed there because I didn't want to take him apart. I didn't want to spend the time taking him out. I was pretty sure I had to. I was very worried about his head because his eyes were already in. These safety eyes were already in and his nose was already mostly on. So what ended up happening? He took apart his whole body, redid it with a bigger needle. I like it much better. Um, His little belly is better defined. I didn't want to take apart his head. So I decided not to. So his head is a little bit little, but I think he's still cute. He's got a cute little bunny tail. But so he's done. So he went from being in timeout for over a year to done within a couple of days. So I'm very happy with him. And then since I was on such a roll, I figured why not work on some spring gnomes that weren't in timeout, but also haven't been touched in over a year. So Here's the first one. There. And here's the second one. So their little hats are slightly different. This one, I think, needs a little tack, a little tacking stitch in there. But there they are. They're slightly different hats. They're opposite colors of each other but they are finished and again I one is a little bit bigger because I, I ended up switching I think I'm finding that my tension tends to be a little bit tight so I've been going up a size of hook for quite a few of my projects lately and I'm, I'm liking how that's working out better it does I also have noticed so ugh, this becomes relevant with this next one that I work on that I've also noticed my tension has loosened up a little bit. I've gotten a lot better without being as tight. Um, but the problem that's making is that this, I have worked on, been working on this star blanket. So let me stand up because I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Let me back up. Okay. So you can kind of see it's all wrinkly and needs to get blocked and whatnot. But this star baby blanket. Now, my tension was quite a bit tighter when I started this blanket. And so what's happening is it's almost puckering. I don't know if you can tell from there. So it's puckering a bit because of how the tension is. Like it, it's got a very different tension to it. But I was too far, I had done too many extra rows before I realized it and I really don't want to take it out I really like I'm not I've decided it's not getting taken out I'm hoping that it will sort its life out once it gets blocked like I may I'm not always that good at blocking especially on like blankets but I may need to attempt some blocking if not it'll just be a little bit different We'll just have a bit of a of a different vibe to it because there's not much I can do. I don't really want to go take the whole thing out. I also didn't really want to tighten my tension up that much to make it sort of work. So we're going to have to just go with the flow and hope that when I finish it, it doesn't lie really terribly because that would be... That would be tragic is what that would be. And this one is just with, I'm, I don't, so I'm not 100% sure it's my favorite yarn. Um, oh, I don't have the yarn here with me. I don't know. I, I am going to finish it. I'm enjoying stitching on it, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous it's not going to turn out the way that I want it to. So we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of hoping I've just rolled almost finished rolling the second ball and it does go pretty quickly so hopefully I would like to finish it this month um been on a bit of a kick of crossing off some of those other craft projects so I'll keep trucking away and then we'll 
see how it looks once it's kind of blocked. If anyone has any suggestions for what might help it or if there's a way that I can kind of help that tension issue balance it out, I would love to hear them. Let me know in the comments. That would be terrific. So that is everything that I have worked on the last couple weeks. Uh, and we are going to move on to the story section of the video uh, and life update. I say life update. Do I have a life update? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's been very up and down kind of couple weeks. So very like some days are great and I get all the things done and I'm super productive and it all feels like everything's, you know, coming up, Megan. And then the next couple days are sort of like a lull. Um, but that's okay. We're kind of working through it one day at a time and I sort of switch up what I do depending on that. Uh, which I think is a little bit why I've been all over the place. It's sort of dependent on brain space and I kind of was trying to go with wherever the flow was taking me so that I wouldn't get stuck doing nothing um, or get stuck in decision paralysis. So <clears throat> that's where we've been at. I did also, my Steam Deck arrived. I think I mentioned last video that I, did I have my Steam Deck yet at that point? I don't. I don't think so. So I mentioned last time that it was coming. So it arrived and I have played lots on it. I've been playing a lot of demos. I've been playing a lot of shorter puzzle games. Some games that I've had for ages but haven't played. Some games that I've been wanting to try out but haven't. So um, some of them haven't worked out on Steam Deck well. Like I've, you know, opened up a demo and it's been definitely like this is not not currently playable on the Steam Deck and others that have been have said they might not be and then played like a dream like maybe I had to make some tweaks but they played amazing so I've been kind of all over the place with games I think the one I've played the most was probably Bear and Breakfast which uh, I'll put, <laughs> I'll put a picture of it here I might have mentioned this last last time I can't I honestly it's a blur Anyways, Bear and Breakfast, uh, which is a basically a bear, like it's in the forest and somehow this bear and his friends get into creating or like fixing up motels from the area to draw tourists in. So you're a bear who is going around collecting materials and building and fixing up these motels. I'm not that far into it yet, uh, but yeah. I played about almost five hours, I think, of it, and I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. It, I was playing it before bed for a few nights, but there's something with the way the screen goes, like with how you move around and the, the texture of the screen that was – it plays tricks on my eyes when I'm tired, so it got paused for a little bit, but that one I'm having a lot of fun with, and then I've been having a lot of fun with, um, like – puzzle games so there was one I played called turn on the light jigsaw which is a free to, free to play game um it's short it's like a short puzzle game so shorter than their ones that that have a feed to them but I had so much fun with it I found it so relaxing um I loved it I I'm pretty sure if I ever get my act together that I'm gonna buy a few others from that same developer that turn on the light ones because you're just they're puzzles where you have to like do electronic kind of things to just turn on the light. And I've, I've been loving that. Um, and also games like I played one called An Arcade Full of Cats that is really just like you have, like it's hidden object in the sense that you have this kind of like Where's Waldo, but with cats and lots of cats. And you have to find all the cats in the picture. Uh, I played one called Pros and Codes, which is like a cryptograph, cryptogram word game um, based on poem no books this one is passages from classic novels and you have to guess which letters fit right like um so it's been shifted in the alphabet and you have to kind of guess okay this says it's an r is what letter is it really and you have to play with the words to make it work i don't know if i'm making sense but i had a lot of fun with that one i just played the demo of that one um but I, I'm definitely going to pick that one up because that one was a lot of fun and they're just really nice light, I find anyways, light puzzle games that 
have my brain working, but aren't demanding enough to keep me awake, but they kind of help me transition into sleep. So those I've been really loving. And then on the completely other end, I played a game last week, I think, called Lightyear Frontier. I played the demo. It's a new game. It's only been out for a couple of weeks. It might actually be an, is it an early access I don't remember if it's an early access or it is an early access. So, and up till now, for most of the time, I haven't really picked up too many early access games. I've kind of been like, eh, I'll wait until it comes out and we'll go from there. But I had so much fun with the demo. Like you're uh, doing mech farming. So you have this huge mech device, kind of looks like a transformer, but you go in it and you're going around like, harvesting goods and planting goods and restoring this planet in space and like honestly I had so much fun playing it so even though it is in early access still it may be one that I that I pick up in the near future because I have been having a lot of fun with it it's a gorgeous game it plays pretty good on Steam Deck and yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun and it it wasn't one that I thought I would enjoy and then I was just, I was totally into it, totally into it. So, which kind of leads us into story, or we're in stories, Megan, we're there, leads us into shows. So what I've been watching, so first up, I have still been watching Murdoch Mysteries. I think I mentioned it the last couple times, uh, but we're caught up now. So we did a rewatch of the whole thing from season one up. We're totally caught up. All 17, we're in the middle of 17th season right now. And there was an episode a couple weeks ago that was like a musical episode called Why Is Everybody Singing? And it was just, it was amazing. It's going to get rewatched in the near future because it was so good. Um, But then back to the new planet thing I have been watching Star Trek the next generation so and this is kind of a rewatch for me and kind of not and the reason for that is I grew up watching the next generation so I watched a lot of these episodes when I was really little so some of them I definitely remember and some of them I don't remember at all some of them are brand new like some of them I remember like vividly I remember that episode 100% like it's you know new-ish to me but also I I have that feeling that I've seen it others not at all but overall it's it's this weird combination of familiar experience and new experience because it's a familiar comfort show so it's very comforting it's very relaxing it feels like a very safe space show but then at the same time I'm experiencing it for the first time as an adult so little me was like Jordy was my all-time favorite Jordy and then Data right all-time favorite was Jordy which means I was very focused on Jordy which means and I mean like obviously Captain Picard was there and everybody else was there and there were times where I was into their stories but I was so focused on Jordy and Data that a lot of the other stories just I didn't retain. So now I get to experience other characters like Deanna Troy and uh, First Officer Riker and the captain in a different way um, because I'm actually paying attention to their stories instead of just being like, nope, that guy's my favorite and you won't, like, no questions. (laughs) Uh, So my space game over here is kind of tying in and there's a lot of me that's like, Ooh, all the space games, because there's a couple others that have come out recently that I'm like, let me just play in space. That's what I want to do. It's play in space. Uh, <laughs> so, but anyways, I think that's all I have for stories. I have been reading very hit, like, bits and pieces. Um, trying to kind of get back into it, ease my way back into some of those things. But yeah, it's just kind of, I'm going with the flow and I feel like the flow is taking me everywhere. Like I'm moving around on the spring breeze here, there, and wherever. So, um, but with that, I think I'm going to wrap up here, um, before I get down into a track where I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, (laughs) which between you, me, and the computer, I feel like I've been half of this video. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging out with me even when I'm 
all scattered all over the place. Ooh, if you, so, if you happen to, along the Star Trek line, if you have, um, if you also like Star Trek and you have any, like, good Star Trek cross-stitch pieces, piece, blah, 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 cross-stitch projects that you're aware of, let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments down below because I am on the hunt um, for some Star Trek pieces. And there's one or two that I've looked at that I'm considering, but um, I'd really like to do one. So let me know if you have any good ideas. That would be fantastic. Um, but now I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful next couple weeks. Um, I hope that things are going well for you. I hope that you get to enjoy this spring. I hope where you are, the weather is nice or starting to get nice or that you have glimmers of niceness in your weather. Um, and I just hope that you will join me again next time. Um, so hopefully I'll be seeing you in a couple weeks just before Stitch North, I think will be my plan the weekend before. Um, and yeah. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I. <laughs> Hello, my friends. My name is Megan. Nope. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. My name is Megan, and this is Stories and Stitches.